Defcon, what's up? Bart Boy here, and I am with my friend. I didn't even get your name. Tell me your name, buddy. Marco. We've got Marco here. Marco won Clue Hunt, which is social engineering here, a social engineering contest here at Defcon. Marco, give us a, a quick rundown on what you had to do in order to make this work and how to win this contest today. Sure, it was a really fun contest. Um, basically, it's a series of uh, puzzles that you have to solve. One leads to another. Uh, increasingly difficult, I, I found in that during the day. And uh, it basically you know, challenged your imagination, challenged uh, things that you knew. And, and uh, you know, I had to talk to different people on the show floor and ask questions. For example, one of the clues was uh, one of the first clues was uh, related to piano and you needed to know a secret word and the secret word was from a piano keys and I don't, I don't know how to play the piano so I had to, um, I had to find somebody who, who did. I thought you were going to say the secret word was Fidelio. No, no, I'm no uh, Tom Cruise, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like you just had to kind of, you had to make some rounds, you got to meet some cool people, and also you had to kind of socially engineer your way around and, uh, and, and be creative on how you approach this. Because you didn't really know what was coming next from what clue to what clue to what clue. How many different clues and how many different puzzles were there? Oh man, I, I, I want to say maybe 10, 10, nice. 12. So it took me about five hours to, to, to get through the whole thing. Uh, so, you know, you take some breaks, go for lunch, come back, regroup, uh, you feel defeated, and then, uh, and then when you get one, you're pumped, and you know, you push and uh, you, you get through it. it. Sounds like you're just playing a real-life video game, ARG, kinda. pretty much, is what we're looking at here. Kind of, kind of, yeah, and that's why I like hanging out with the, with the social engineering group up there, um, with the fishing contest, which is amazing as well, uh, on the third floor. I, this like this morning I listened to uh, I watched and listened um, AI uh, versus humans like a competition of fishing <laughs> AI versus humans and it was a an artificial intelligence talking to a person from Hilton an employee from Hilton asking questions to get sensitive information so that's what fascinates me it's that human aspect so talking to people you know, sometimes having these pretexts to get what the information that you're looking for. I think that's super interesting as far as like where we're headed and the evolution of uh, AI being used in the landscape of fishing and of social engineering in general, because just like thinking real fast, or if we're talking about thinking real fast and being able to create reactive AI in that way of being able to, I, I mean, that's pretty amazing. You said, are you, I mean, uh, how else do you use social engineering um, or in, in your passions or hobbies or regular life or in cybersecurity? Sure. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So social engineering is, is really uh, my passion or my circle of interest, I should say, in cybersecurity. Um, I've loved it, you know, since I've gotten into this business. And in my day-to-day -day job, how I use it, um, is to uh, first of all uh, help uh, sensitize people. Give I give trainings, um, you know, to the, the the pitfalls of social engineering. Uh, sometimes customers can call me up and they want to test their employees um, on the phone. They can want us to test their employees with phishing. Um, so and sometimes I get hired to infiltrate um, building office buildings. Um, so we call that physical penetration testing and all these things are all related to how an employee, how a person will react uh, in the face of a stranger in their midst, for example, or a stranger calling them over the phone or a stranger sending them an email, right? Mm -hmm. And we do this off, you know, obviously is to kind of make the employee a better person, well, not a better person, sorry, a, a better worker. Right, yeah. a more a safer worker, so that there's no compromises for the business. 100%. How can I um, make sure that I am not uh, being socially engineered myself? Should when I receive a phone call from a number I don't know, that's most likely a scam. Mm -hmm. Should I not answer with my regular voice? Like, how, are there things that I should be worried about with voice cloning, things like that nowadays? I mean, I, I, I'm just, I might, you know, I'm asking kind of a new question here, maybe. But uh, any thoughts on that, and just how I can be prepared? Absolutely, and from what I've seen with the uh, the AI village, 
and this morning at the social engineering with the AI, I mean, that's going to be the next challenge is that that call that's going to come with a familiar voice yep. because they can take the voice. If, if your voice, you put it out there on a Facebook video, an Instagram video, it can be picked up, it can be cloned, it can be used against you. So I think that the first thing I would say was be careful what you post online. Yeah. Be very, very careful. It used to be, be careful, don't put your personal information. But now, be, care, be careful, don't post maybe your voice, don't post your face. It's kind of getting sketchy. Which is kind of like, I mean, that's a big ask. That's right, that's right. That's a big ask in general because it's like, whoa, uh, yeah, we're literally everybody's not everybody but like a lot of people post whether it's video photos etc now that can all be cloned faked and and uh used and exploited by people now and that's going to become more common so uh yeah i've been messing around a little bit with voice cloning and it's pretty interesting stuff and very powerful but um i was like oh shit we're we're doomed we're well, doomed I, I, I was keanu reeves for about a minute <laughs> earlier today and it, it was like, like it was like it, was, it looked so easy. Mm -hmm. They just put me in front of a green screen. I, I became Keanu Reeves, and the you know people that were waiting in line became Jackie Chan, and they became uh, Mr. Bean. And <laughs> and you look and they, and I told the guy I said I have glasses, and Keanu like Keanu okay has has a beard, but I mean I have glasses. I, it doesn't have my hair, just, but it doesn't matter. It was Keanu with my glasses and with my with my beard. It, it just it blew my mind. Real time, real time. Real time, yeah. I love it, man. Well, I, I, I feel like uh, we covered some cool stuff here, man. Congratulations on winning uh, this year's uh, Clue Hunt. And uh, I expect to see you around. And um, thanks for fighting the good fight. Yeah, check out that award, too. That is go, badass. Look at that beauty right I want, there. I want that so bad, but <laughs> it's, it's made to be uh, covetable. I'm, <laughs> right. Well, thank you, man. Uh, give me a quick handshake. Thank You're you. You're awesome. Thank and you. uh, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right.